This is code.org. I'm working on the CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3, which is Animation and Games. And then I'm working on Lesson 6, Sprites, Part 10. All right, let's see what we're doing. Upload your own image. You can also use the Animation tab to upload or draw your own image. Oh, cool. And remember, the Animation tab is way up over here. That's what they mean, right? We can click or click back. Do this. You are going to make a flying kite. You can search the web for an image or create a new animation from scratch by drawing your own kite. Okay, um, I think I'm going to do both, but I'm going to start by searching the web. So I have Google already open, and I'm going to go ahead and search for a uh, flying kite, I guess. Okay, I'm going to click over here on images. Great. And let's see, was there any other instructions? Oh. Download your kite. Images with a trans transparent background work best. And there's a way you can do that on Google. If I click way up over here on tools, right, and then color, I'm going to select transparent. Okay. And so it then gives me these options. I would pay attention to size because remember how large the screen is. It should be about 400 by 400. And I don't really want to deal with resizing my kite. So I'm actually going to kind of look for something smaller. I'm not seeing one yet. So what I will do then also is do size larger than, nope, uh, I want a, uh, icon's going to be small, but that's what I want. That just means pretty small. Okay. Oh, this one looks all right. 128 by 128. That seems good. I would like some color. Um, that's a black and white kite. Um... Oh, that one's kind of fun. 256 by 256. Is it watermarked? Nope. All right, great. I want this one. So, and I'm going to right click it. If you're on a Mac or a, a Chromebook and have a touchpad, you want to separate two fingers, press down at the same time to right click. You're going to hit save image as. Okay. I'm going to rename mine just to be kite. You don't necessarily have to do that and save. Great. And there it is, it just downloaded. So I'm gonna go back to code.org, gonna close up my download bar, and now, okay. Open the animation tab, click the plus, and click upload image. Select the file from your computer, rename the image so it's easy to remember. To rename it, click the text below the image. Back in the code, all right, let's do all that. Animation, upload, uh, draw your own, nope, I wanna upload. And then, let's see, I did a download, kite, open. Hopefully, ta-da, we have a kite. Okay, now change the name. Oh, I think they mean over here. Well, I already like kite, but if you had something complicated, you could just change it right there. Um, am I forgetting something? Here, I'm going to go back and double check. Code, uh, select easy to remember, rename it, got that, back in the code, all right, so here we are, use your sprite set animation to make your kite sprite show your new animation, okay, so use, back in the code, uh, use sprite set animation, is that already here, uh, create a sprite, nope, create a sprite, set, and, and set the animation, so I think we'll do that next, let's see if we can find it, drawing was it, Guess not. Let's see sprites, probably. Oh, yeah. Set animation. And so this is going to come after we made the variable kite. Sprite set animation. And then what's the animation? Well, we named the animation much like the variable. It might even list it. It does. Ours is kite.png because I left the image name tag there. So that's why mine's .png. Okay. Uh, don't worry if your kite is too big. You'll learn how to fix that on the next level. Oh, well, mine isn't, but that's good to know. I'm going to go ahead and hit run. Uh-oh. Oops. We can't figure out what the sprite is. Perhaps the string sprite... In quotes. Hmm. Oh, see how our variable is named kite? I need to change this. Our variable is not named sprite. It's not sprite set animation. We want to say, hey kite set the animation for this i believe well i guess we'll find out ah oh and it is still too big because it's way at the top 
Good thing they're going to show us how to change that up. I do want to real quick, if you didn't find something you like, what's really cool is under animations, you can always draw your own. I am not that artsy, so this is going to be terrible. But, ah, right? And then you can pick a color here, and maybe you want to fill it with that color, and maybe you want to draw a smiley face. This is going to just be bad. A smiley face. Ah, ah, um, we, okay? And let's pretend that's a kite, okay? So I'm going to name it yikes because well it's not really a kite but sure okay and then i'm just kind of showing you i can then go way back over here and if i wanted to switch it to to my yikes and hit run now yikes is in there so obviously i will be using my kite um great let's keep uh going